Nay, sure he's not in hell. He's in Arthur's bosom. If ever a man went to Arthur's bosom and made a finer end and went away and it had been any Christian child. He parted even just between twelve and one, even at the turning of the tide. For after I saw him fumble with the sheets and play with flowers and smile upon his fingers end, I knew there was but one way. For his nose was as sharp as a pen and he babbled of green fields. How now, Sir John, quoth I, what man be of good cheer? So he cried out, God, God, God. <gasps> Three or four times. Now I, to comfort him, bade him he should not think of God. I hope there was no need to trouble himself with any such thoughts yet. So he bade me lay more clothes on his feet. I put my hand into the bed and felt them. and They were as cold as any stone. Then I felt to his knees and so upward and upward and all was as cold as any stone. 